What's up, Sock Pase y que tal, mis amigos? We're back again with another video, and today we're gonna be watching Mr. Beast's $10,000 Every Day You Survive in the Wilderness. I personally think I would survive forever, but we'll see what kind of challenges he throws in there that makes it harder for them to handle the survival. I don't know. I just dropped these two strangers off in the middle of the wilderness. These two guys have never met each other in their entire lives. Nice to meet you, man. Every day the two of you survive in this wilderness, I'll give you $10,000. I hope you bought enough money, man. We're here for the long run. Hey, put that camera down. Let's head out. All right. Take care, boys. This video can make you guys millionaires. He's going to be poor by the time we're out of here. <laughs> I'm Hayes. Hayes, I'm girl. First of all, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna say it's intimidating, but it's definitely gotta be a, 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 a flex. If if you just finished talking to somebody and they hop into a heli and fly off. Like that's on some GTA R GTA and GTA RP shit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Grizz, nice to meet you, man. Grizz, yeah. all right. You're gonna be my best friend for I the know. next however long. Starting now, these guys receive $10,000 every day, with the only limit being how long they can survive, which theoretically means they could win unlimited money. Dude, if we stay a year, we're both multimillionaires. We are trying to find a camping spot, build a fire, survive the night. I guess we should just set up camp here. For the rest of the night, they gathered wood and went through their supplies. We've got approximately five days worth of food, two things of water. Looks like a change of clothes, some warm jackets, and boom, fire. Starter. Let's see if we can get a fire going. Oh, yeah. We are good. Let's make beds out of pine needles. Won't be comfortable, mm. but at least we won't freeze it at tonight. Wait, Ooh. wait, wait, wait. But pine needles and fire, it sounds like a dangerous combination. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm thinking that it probably, I, I, they probably had enough space because clearly we're seeing that like, look, look, they're, they're alive and it's the next day. But like, just the idea of like, yo, let's start a fire, boom. Okay, now let's sleep next to the fire to stay warm and put pine straw under us. That, that just sounds a little bit dangerous, but hey, like I said, they survived, they survived, so. We're alive. Too. And in the morning, I showed up to give them their first $10,000. Boys, how was the first night? It's cold. It's been 24 hours, and I didn't walk over with 10 grand. You're not gonna ask? Yeah, I guess we should, right? Yeah. Okay, just look up. Oh, oh my. Here we go! Every 24 hours, we're gonna drop $10,000 out of a plane for you guys. And There's they have to find it? In a parachuted briefcase. Catch it, don't catch it! Bell, watch out! Bro, this is crazy! Bro, we're gonna be so rich by the end of this video. And on top of that money, this is your flare gun. Oh. Be careful, shoot it up in the air. The challenge ends for the both of you. And you walk away with the money you've won. So how long should we stay out here? 3.6 million for the year is crazy. All right, the plan is officially a year. We're gonna split this in two. You get this. Yes. I get this. Now we can't oh. screw each other over. But later oh. in this video. Dude, that's smart, that's smart. Cause by splitting up the, the okay, you got the shell. That means for us to shoot this, we have to, we have to both agree. Unless somebody be like, hey, yo, give me that mother. Like, you feel me? You feel me? And I'm sure that's prop money because I don't know if I would even want my my money given to me in the middle of the woods while we're like got fire. We could we could lose it. We could get go stir crazy and burn the fire. Like there's so many things that could go wrong. So I understand why they would give them prop money. And then afterwards, you like, you know, cash it in for real money, just like at a casino or like when they give you those giant checks and those giant checks be like, you know, what I'm saying you can't go cash them giant checks, but them giant checks is just representing the idea of what you've got. Also, what's in these little jars right here? I just noticed what's the what's these what's in these jars right here? Hold on. Hold on. Mm. Mm. Oh, that plan doesn't exactly work. All right, I feel bad, but I need to steal that flare gun. I just Stole gotta it. shoot this thing, and I get to be a dad again. If you fire that flare, I literally think I'm gonna kill you. Well, buddy, you ready to get rich? Yo, I'm not gonna lie, and I don't want to seem insensitive, okay? Uh, insert insensitivity. But, like, honestly, when they be having these challenges, I don't understand how people after like four or five days be like, <laughs> I need to go see my family. And I'm not saying that I don't understand being attached to those that you love, but I'm saying like, if I know I'm here for a purpose, 
I, I, could, I don't know. How long can y'all go without seeing y'all family members if you know at the end of it you'll be set for life for you and your family members? Like, am I tripping? Like, people would be like, oh, I got to get out of this space because I haven't seen my girlfriend in three days. Nigga, what? What? Like... Like, I'm about to, like, um, okay, look, I know how Mr. Beast is, and so most likely there's going to be certain challenges that makes it harder for them. But if there's no challenges and he's literally just like, I got to shoot this guy. I've been seeing him in a week. Because here's the other thing. You were aware that she was doing this challenge. So it's not like they grabbed you and it was like, let's go for a walk. And they said, by the way, random question. I'll give you $10,000 a day if you just stay right here. If you leave, you lose the rest of the money. And then you're like, damn, I didn't plan for it. But if I know I'm about to go to a Mr. Beast competition to see how long I can stay away from my family, I'm going to mentally prepare for it already. Like, I'm not going to be like, day three without seeing my family. I'm about to shoot this gun. Like, relax. Uh, I, I, I may be a little bit more detached than most, though. I may be a little bit more detached. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm surviving. I'm surviving. Absolutely. By day three, you could say the boys were pretty tired of sleeping on the ground. <laughs> so after another 10 grand, they started work on building their shelter. Gonna use my jacket to gather pine needles and layer them on the shelter. All right, I found this metal piece from a kid's swing set, and I think it's gonna work great for the roof of our shelter. Layer one on. Boom! Here's a section that we're working on. You can see it's got some structural poles. We get to use the parachutes and the cord, so we're gonna make a rain cover on our shelter. Everyone thinks probably that I'll be the reason we leave fail this challenge but this money would mean college for the kids and then on day four they started looking for a water source oh there's a swamp i would feel safe boiling that yeah we got to be careful because that stuff is full of bacteria and parasites mm -hmm. see see i i could see i could see the reason not surviving or wanting to leave is not having the the knowledge or the capability to survive and once i run out of supplies and i run out of of the know-how to to survive then it's like damn i gotta get out of here because i'm dying you know what i'm saying health is wealth health is a little bit more important than wealth you feel what i'm saying um but if they like so so i could see that but like i wouldn't leave off of like my feelings of like i miss somebody like that wouldn't be the reason i leave I know that for sure. Also, this water doesn't look purified. I know they said they boiled it, but that did still look a little misty. That shit looks misty. I'm not going to lie to you. Misty. Ooh, just a touch of the small one. <laughs> All right, we're going to bed. Hopefully, Chris snuggles up. because I really cold. miss my head. This is like the third day in a row that we've gotten two hours of sleep. It's been so cold. If it rained right now, we'd probably have to go to the hospital. But I'd do it for $10,000. And it wasn't just the freezing temperatures that were getting to them. We're at the end of our supplies. Grizz likes to call it a fast, which sounds so much nicer than starving. And for the next few days, the hunger problem yeah. didn't get any easier. We had a, a little square of beef jerky this morning. That's it. Jimmy gave us five days worth of food, and it's day nine right now. These are green briar leaves. Grizz says they're edible, I guess. Mm. Yeah. It was clear by this point that the boys were extremely hungry. But lucky for them, I had a surprise waiting for them on day 10. They yeah. officially survived 10 days. Woo! Here's your briefcase. Yeah. And don't leave. This is where the challenge gets interesting. Oh, Bring in the yeah. helicopter. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Yeah. I'm nervous, dude. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, that I'm excited about. Uh, See, if he's replenishing their food, there's no reason to ever leave. Like, if you don't ration it all right, you might get suffer two out of the 10 days. But if every 10 days I know the man is bringing me supplies, I'm good. I'm good. They got corned beef hash on they set. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> like, listen, the only thing I was worried about is that purified water. <laughs> he said it's purified, not clean. They're still in there for surely. They got they got seven up. They drinking. They got uh oh uh, Sierra Mist. They got got they, listen. But if they would have look look, I would have been maybe at day eight, day nine. Like oh, I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to do this. Oh crap! But you let me find out on day ten that y'all bringing us supplies. Oh, I'm never leaving. I'm never leaving. I've lived I've lived through worse. Word. Like nah.
Uh -huh. To celebrate date 10, we have your first offer. I can tell you guys oh, are tired offer. of eating leaves. So oh, it's an offer. So he's going to take some of the money. Okay, that's different. Damn, that's different. That's different. Buy you guys an additional 10 days worth of food, spices, two tarps, and everything you would need to fit. All of this for $50,000 of your prize money. Damn, that's five days worth of the money. So that means they lose five days to gain the ability to possibly survive five more days, but they would need to survive like 10 days for it to even equal out. No, 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 I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. We just go, this, knowing that he's giving out offers would give me the um, courage, give me the, um, give me the like, oh shit, so he got offers on the way. It would give me the 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 adrenaline or whatever to last maybe two or three more days. But I wouldn't I would calculate it like, okay, so I make 10k a day, okay? After 10 days of suffering, he offered me this pack for 5 days worth of money. Which means for this pack to be worth it, I would have to survive 5 more days. If I don't survive five more days, I literally wasted money just to to fish. Like it's not like they he said I'm dropping you uh fast food or I'm dropping you a chef that's gonna cook for you every day. It is like I'm dropping you bare minimum like essentials that will help you survive, but but it's not like premium essentials, it's just here's survival equipment. So basically I'll still be suffering. So while I'm suffering, if I don't survive five days, I just spent five days worth of money to suffer for a couple more days to save a little bit of the money, like to, to, to gain some of the money I spent back. It, it wouldn't be worth it for me. So for this box to be worth it, I need to survive at least six days, which still not worth it because technically if I ignore the box and last one more day, I already make the same amount that the box would have made me if I didn't spend the money. So like the box would have to be something extraordinary for me to spend five days worth of money on it. Hell no. Hell no. Next, next deal, next. You want some beef jerky? Yes. Don't eat it yet. Oh. These beans look good. Oh, absolutely. Oh, coffee. coffee. We're going to give you space. I'll be back in 10 minutes. This Wait, it's just those it's three? Just... Wait, it's just that? It's literally all the things we would need to fish. 50 grand. 50 grand. If they don't take this deal. I mean, they're kind of stupid. Nah, I don't care what y'all say. That's not a stupid deal. Because all they have to do is last one day. And that's the equivalent of getting the box and lasting six days. I will calculate it. Every day I lasted without the box is the equivalent of the box plus those days. I mean, fishing equipment is cool. But if how you know what's in that water? How you know what's in that water? Did they give them seasoning? They just going to be eating... I don't know. I don't know. 10 days worth of food means they make 100 grand and they only have to pay 50 grand for it. I'm doing them a favor. So 10 days worth of food and then they pay, they made 100 grand. Then they lose half of that money to get a box that might not last them another 10. No, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing that. Canned beans don't look good to me. And a Swiss knife. He said seasoning herbs. Like, I don't, is there seasoning? That deal is trash, bro. The only reason that seems like a great deal to someone like Mr. Bees is because he's used to living in comfort. So he like, 50,000, that's it? <laughs> Not Mr. Bees trying to put them in a 360 deal. Crazy. Should we talk to him now? Yeah. All right, all right. All right, Jimmy. If you make a decision in the next 60 seconds, I'll throw in two feet from the bar. But matter of fact, because of that, the answer is, oh, you say all I have to do is make a decision? So I don't even have to say yes? That it, as long as I make a decision? All right, my answer is no. Quick. Now give me the Peaceables bar. Fuck out yes. of here. Let's do it. You I said mean, yes? Bro. Bro. It's not 59 more seconds, but okay. Here, I'll put that in the pile of food. Thank you for the 50 grand. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh Thanks, guys. God. Enjoy the food. Oh, by the way, you also get the crate with it. Thank you! Wait, they didn't get the extra 10,000 for that day though. Oh, cause at the end of day one, they got the first. So they're on day 10. At the end of day 10 is when they get the next 10,000. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh my God.
Oh my God. Thanks, Jimmy. It's definitely a deal we had to say yes to, but that week of food literally cost as much as my kids' college tuition. Hello! Hey! Hey! Bro, I still can't believe it every time this money falls out of the sky. The food from the crate will feed them for 10 days, but if they want to survive out here for a year, all right, the plan is officially a year. They'll still need to find more food in the wilderness. So some of you may be wondering, why have they not caught fish? Right. Okay, so basically, let, let's let's break it down. Like I said, they bought a they got they bought a box for fifty thousand that could potentially help them fish. There was day ten. That was three days ago. They still haven't fished yet, or if they have fished, they haven't been successful. So <laughs> that box. <laughs> Bro. Well, the swamp nearby has no fish in it. What we That's what I'm saying. I was like, how do they know there's even fish in there? When they was getting water, did they see fish that they were like, damn. See, see, it's a difference if like you see something like, damn, I really wish I could get that, but we don't have fishing equipment. Boom. Would you like some fishing equipment? That'll cost you. At least we'll be like, then we could go get the fish that we were wanting. Like when you're playing a video game and, and in the game, you're like, you try to do something and it says you can't do that yet because you don't have the gear for it. So when you get the gear, you're like, oh, let me go back to that part of the game so I can go do that part. That makes sense. Still a little weak deal, but it makes at least some sense. But in the case where it's like, we never even saw fish, they might as well say, oh, here's some bow and arrows so you can uh, hunt hawks down. It gives you extra bonus points. And it's like, I've never hunted a hawk. And also, I don't know what how to cook hawk meat. That was a weird sentence to say. It sounded like something else when I was saying it aloud. But the point is, it's like, oh, so, okay. And there was canned mandarin oranges, which if y'all know how I fuck up halo oranges, a bag of halo oranges all in one setting, then you know that's tempting. But at the same time, is it $50,000 tempting? They're only on day 13, which means that box only extended them three days. I'm sure they could have lasted three days suffering, but without buying the box. And instead of having whatever they have, which is, well, like, because they gave away 50, they have 40, and they're like at 70,000, they would have had a... Uh, 13,000 instead. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. It's what we really need good. is a moving water that we can fish in. And while Hayes was rambling on about his kids, and my two year old doesn't sleep very well either, so. This happened. I think being a dad. <gasps> what is this? <gasps> this is a creek. This is not a swamp. This is actually moving water. There's fish in here. Dude, look at this. It's like a dock. This is the perfect place for food and shelter. And after another few days full of a surprise freezing rainstorm, Ooh, man. at least now we have $100,000. They decided to move and upgrade their shelter near their newfound water source. Good morning, Grizz. How are you always up earlier? <laughs> We're gathering up a bunch of dead trees we can use for our structure. And then we balance them together into an A-frame shape and cut the trees to the right length. Nah, they, 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 you know what I said? They talking about some, an A-shaped frame. Like, these niggas was meant to be in the wild. Look at the shirt he's wearing. You can tell my boy is, is not new to being, being in the wilderness. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> I take back what I said about them knowing what they're doing. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. I'm glad I broke your fall. <laughs> sorry. All right, so maybe they had a bit of a false start. But once they got the structure back up, they spent the entire next day putting their finishing touches on their shelter. No, that's actually kind of fire, though. That's kind of... I, I, I take it... I took it back. Now I'm re... Re-giving them their flowers. They know what they're doing. They even built a fishing dock to help them catch more food. Dock's done. Pleasantly surprised. And now all we got to do is catch a fish. Come on. Yeah. Right? So... They bought it on day 10. Nine days later, they still haven't caught one fish. Yes, they're preparing themselves for the fish catching, but they still haven't, which means they could have survived an extra nine days without the fishing equipment. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And as good as this was, without sleeping bags, the winter night was still unforgiving. What a really cold night. Cold toes, cold feet. No sleeping bag. So I think I knew what my next offer was. It's day 20 and they moved super deep in the woods, so now we have to get there by boat. Do you hear that sound in the distance? What'd you say? 
Is that a boat? Any minute now when we find them, I've got a fun offer for them. How's it going, boys? Hey, hey guys. Hey. What's going on? Two things. First, the plane needed maintenance, so I'm delivering this by hey, hand. Hey, all this right. Your $10, which puts you guys at $140,000. And second, we have an offer for you. Ooh. Reveal your offer. Just go ahead and take it off. Here it is. Ooh. Oh. You can either give me $10,000 for that red sleeping bag or give me $50,000 and you get both sleeping bags. What? Oh my God, now the fighting begins. $10,000 for one sleeping bag or $50,000 for two sleeping bags. Hey, if anything, I would say, my brother, we're going to take one sleeping bag and we just going to take turns. We don't have to sleep at the same time. We don't have to sleep at the same time. We, we could sleep. We could sleep separately. Or if you really want some heat. I'm just saying it's cold out there. You wouldn't cuddle with a homie if it, never mind. Let's just. What? Five times the amount for both. Oh, man. Did you guys take it out? Yeah, we should look at it. Yeah, check them out. Hang on, I just got to do this. <laughs> <laughs> These are the same sleeping bags we used in Antarctica. They work very well. Here's the weather forecast. It's going to get pretty cold next week, so yeah. highly recommend you at least buy one. When we started this thing out, we were in the 20s without anything. Uh -huh. We've adapted to it. We have bedding. We have pine straw. We're doing pretty well in these low temperatures. I would love to have a sleeping bag, but $50,000 is... I sleep closer to Grizz than I do my wife, so <laughs> I'm not even kidding. You're actually going to say no to both? A really cool night. No sleeping bag. Yeah, so I think uh, I think it's final. We don't want it. Yeah, agreed. Wow, not even a single okay. sleeping bag. All right, boys, okay. close it up. Sure, the boy. I think they are still uh, recovering from having spent fifty thousand on fishing rods that they did not use. Boys could survive there. without sleeping bags, but that didn't solve their food problem. In between sitting out rainy days, the boys got into a bit of a routine where they would boil water, work on their shelter, and try to catch fish, which wasn't really working out for them. Guess that 50000 was a waste. We got some guts for bait. We're going to cast them out, and uh, hopefully the fish come up off the bottom of the creek. Day after day of failing to catch any fish. Let's go check the lines, see if any catfish are on. They finally caught a wind in their sails. Oh. Oh. oh, Grizz! Or whatever that abomination of Mother Nature was. What is that? Is that an eel? Eel. Eat it? Oh my god. Can I eat it? <laughs> you know you hungry. You know you hungry if you pick up something and be like, what is that? But also, can I eat it? <laughs> what is that? But can I eat it? That that's the hey. You know you hungry if if that's your your first question. They caught a Pokemon. It's crazy. Can I eat it? <laughs> first fish. It's an eel, and I think I'm gonna charcoal grill it. We're gonna have ourselves some. American style unagi. This is the first thing that we've caught out here in 27 days, which is insane. We're happy to have it and we're gonna make it delicious. I don't know if this is what I would call delicious, but the fact that they haven't had a fresh meal in almost 30 days means even a rock would taste good to them at this point. It's excellent. It's so good. <laughs> it's really, this is just like amazingly good. If we keep catching fish like this, we can easily stay for a year. You know what? They're going to end up going home and be in the mood for some eel. Oh, does this restaurant not serve eel? <laughs> Laughs in $120,000. Yeah, bro. Dude, yeah. $3.6 million. Good night. And on day 28, they started constructing their raised bed system in their new shelter. So it's going to be two tripods. One, two. Side rails going down. Slats across. And then a nice pine needle mattress made out of parachutes. And after seeing their new shelter become more and more comfortable, I was starting to get worried that I was going to have to pay these guys millions of dollars. The only regret that I have, they're not bunk beds. Uh, that's honestly an L. They were betting everything on their new shelter being right next to this creek. But that may have been a huge mistake because uh. they couldn't catch another eel to save their lives. <sighs> Snapped it. At this point, 
I've spent more time in the wilderness than I have with my newborn son. Bro, stop mentioning it. Because that means you're going to start wanting to go home. And also, did the tide, like, raise? Because at first, those sticks were above water. Now he's treading water. Like, I also have a two-year-old with my wife alone. How do you explain to a two-year-old that daddy's going to be gone? What do you mean? How do you explain to a two-year-old? Do people not realize that some people for a live like people in the military go overseas? People go do like those work jobs that they gotta like do like oil rigs type stuff. People in the mil like there's so many different reasons that you have to like leave for a while, and you don't have to. Hey, listen, listen. I know, I know, I know. Parents is gonna come after me. You don't have to explain to no two year old what you was doing. And not just because they're two and like, bro, who you questioning? But but it's one thing if you're a deadbeat and you're just gone. But it's a whole different thing if if you're gone and you come back with a bag of money and be like, this is what. It's hard to explain. This is your explanation. Son, I went to go get money to provide for our family. Protector provider. Here's your provisions. Now... I can be with you a lot longer because I don't have to work hard at a nine to five every single day because I just brought a million dollars home. We're millionaires. You're welcome. Like, what are you talking about? I don't remember my dad being there until I was like seven. Like I'm saying, we don't even remember half that shit. And I understand that those are formative years where you feel, build like bonds and stuff. But I will say, I think we, and this is about to go deep. How deep do y'all want to go? Because listen, I have this theory, like we as humans a lot like to say we're doing stuff for people that we're really doing for ourselves. For instance, things like funerals and stuff like that. When a person passes away and we're like, oh, I got to be at their funeral to show them that I can't, that, that's, that's not for them. They're, they're gone. That's for you. You need closure. You're still here and you're like, I, if I don't do this, I'm going to feel away. That's that's for you. Like certain things that we say, oh, I got to be there. How do I explain to him? He's not going to even know what the fuck you're talking about. I promise you, I promise you, he's not going to remember this moment. So really, you are feeling just like how mothers be like, dang, if they missed their first step, they're like, no, he walked while I was at work. You know what I'm saying? That That's for you. That's for you. That's not for the baby. That's that the, the the baby's fine. You're not a deadbeat. Everybody knows what you're doing. You're on Mr. Beast's channel, which has this is this video dropped 10 hours ago and it has 20 million views already. Uh, let me let y'all see. It has 20 million views already. 20 million views. Everybody knows what you're doing. There's witnesses, camera people. And even if there wasn't, after the fact, you got proof. There, there's no no explanation necessary so what you really need to say is i miss my son which is fine it's completely fine there's no need to be like yeah i don't know how i'm going to explain to him how do you explain to a two-year-old why you weren't there for them uh, uh, uh. them one-year-old birthday parties that's for you but all i'm saying is all i'm saying a lot of this stuff is is for you stop putting it on the other people like, oh man, I don't know how I'm gonna explain my two year old. Were you ever seen a two year old? I'm a photographer, so I've been to two year old birthday parties and I'm in there and they're like, eh? and the baby's just like, <laughs> they're not gonna remember that. And if you think I'm wrong, tell me your favorite memory from when you was two years old. Even if you do have a good memory that you actually remember from when you was two years old, I bet you it wasn't your birthday. <laughs> Like, tell me the first birthday party that you actually remember. So anytime you're having a birthday party for your child or they'd be like, damn, I was supposed to be at work, but I got to call off because my wife's going to be pissed because because I'm going to miss my child's birthday party. I'll be a, a, a L dad. And that's all stuff that we put on ourselves, because honestly, that kid is not going to remember that. <laughs> so go make your bread. That may be too far, but I'm just saying this guy right here, he's worried about the wrong thing. He, he's worrying about the wrong thing. But like, honestly, even if they're older and they can remember, 
hey, yo, I'm about to go on a Mr. Beast competition to try to win some money for the family. I'm sure your kid could be 15, 16, 17, 18, and still be like, okay. Don't burn the house while I'm gone. Okay. See you later. They, kids, don't be caring. Unless you've been an L the whole time before, or you're going to be an L the whole time after. As long as you've been a pretty good, like you're a pretty consistent parent, your kids is not going to care. Unless you did a bad job and you made them real p and now back to your regularly scheduled program. What would be something that you would actually buy? We spend a lot of time out here trying to get firewood. You know, having firewood dropped off would be really nice. I'd probably pay 10000 No, no, they're delusional. They're delusional. They're fucking delusional. You're in the woods, and the one thing that they could offer you that you would spend tens of thousands of dollars on is firewood? Is wood, you're surrounded by the stuff. You're surrounded by the stuff. Also, people don't realize how boring solitude and living out there is, okay? I'd rather spend the days looking for wood and then before I know it, it's like, damn, it's getting dark already? Versus they give me everything I need and I'm just like, You ain't spend ten thousand dollars on a bed, but you'll spend it on on wood while you're in the woods. Insane. Thousand dollars for that. We are literally in the middle of the forest. I couldn't tell you where we are anymore. All right. How's it going, boys? Doing great, man. How are you? As a reward for surviving an entire month, I brought you a store. Ooh. Oh, okay. You see, we come through. Nah. See, see, now it's getting interesting. Now it's getting interesting. All of your vlog footage, and we wrote down everything you've asked for, such as firewood, a shovel, cooking supplies. And they put it at the price he asked. See, you got to stop giving them the method on how they could take your money from you. Things are giving me editing work to do. I was just going to post it straight from the record. Like, but you feel me? But you know, you know what I'm saying? Streamers not complaining about viewers coming in. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? We've won 240 grand. Might as well check it out. What are these? Those are mosquito nets. Oh, oh we'll nice. use parachutes. We don't need those. All right, what about the hammocks? I like the hammocks, but you know, we haven't tried making them out of parachutes yet. All right, guys, answer this. What could you not make out of parachutes? A lot. All right, well, do you guys want the firewood? How much so, wood? That's the wood you get. If it came with unlimited wood, I would buy it. I offered them literally everything they could possibly need here, and they still weren't interested. I was beginning to think these two were secretly Navy SEALs or something. Are you guys gonna buy literally anything? You make 10 grand a day. What's another 10 grand? I gotta say no. All right. In a million years. Dang, would you have folded for any of the stuff? Would you have folded for any of the stuff? Years would not have thought they would say no to everything. Next time, I'm going to convince you two to spend money. We're looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, man. See you, Jimmy. There he goes. In his tank. Stop right here. I have a special surprise for all of you. Nolan, what does this look like? A lot of phones. A thousand phones to be exact. Because over the next seven days, I'm going to be giving <laughs> a thousand random people that subscribe a free Samsung Galaxy S24. I literally... And with their rations running dangerously low, their only hope at getting food was to travel through the swamp to the river on the other side in hopes of catching some fish. It's risky wasting all these calories, but I have to do it if we're gonna make it any further. But after a grueling hike, Hayes finally found what he was looking for. Oh my God, woo, look at that, it's the river. Is that not the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? Finding this river is probably the difference between us making our goal and us tapping out early. Fortunately, he had a secret weapon. Grizz and I made our own fishing pole, and this is going to make catching fish easy. <laughs> With Hayes' <laughs> makeshift fishing pole immediately breaking, he was going to have to use his hands, and he spent hours trying <laughs> and failing. Oh, no! Oh, and he no! That right there alone, it's time to go home. Pack it up. Pack it up. Uh, Mr. Mr. Beast, you watching the video? Uh, uh, bring it in. He just succeeded. Oh my God. Oh my God. He couldn't catch any fish without immediately. No, see, see, there's a difference between not catching any fish 
and catching a fish and it slipped back in. Oh my God. That like that might have broke me. That right there might have been it. I could be strong and you'd be like, damn, nothing we can do can convince you. You you damn. Then that one incident happened, and I'm like, all right, call it. Where's where's the flare? Call it. Oh my gosh. Cause, Cause if you just like, damn, this is a bad spot for fishing. I can't get any fish. That's one thing. But if you're like, yeah, I'm gonna. Is it? That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Dropping them. The calories burned coming here would have been for nothing. But just when he was ready to give up, this one's gonna be it. Ah, yeah. Holy moly. Yes, I told you it was that one. Woo I'm not gonna lie. After what happened last time, as soon as I get a uh, get a, get a fish, it, ooh, 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 fight back. <laughs> like I'm be. <laughs> Let's just continue. Let's just continue. Let's just continue. And the luck didn't stop there. <laughs> I'll be strangling a fish. I might take a bite out of it immediately out the water. Like they would, they would. <laughs> Mr. Beast would definitely get the footage he was looking for because I. Like, <laughs> We're eating tonight. Hey. Look at him waiting like a wife, like, where's the food? How are they communicating? How did he know to wait for him right there? That's hilarious to think about. <laughs> right, that's awesome. Feels like this is our first real food in ages. But in the meantime, I was preparing an offer that I know they couldn't refuse. It's day 40, they've made over a third of a million dollars, and I have an incredibly special offer for them. For $10,000, and I think you're really gonna like this, you both can see your wives. In fact, they're Wait, watching what? right now. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If I know that I'm the type of person to be sentimental about my wife, I don't want to see her. Because seeing her is going to make me be like, oh, I just want to go home with y'all. And if I'm the type to not be sentimental about my wife, then I'm not wasting $10,000 to see my wife. I live with her. <laughs> what the fuck? She gonna be mad at me through this little video saying, nah, I'm good. She could be mad all she wants, but that's $10,000 I'm taking home to us, baby. And we got split it in half with this stranger. That's $5,000 that I'm taking home. Nah, it's too expensive. No, no, no. I'm sorry you came all the way over here. I'm sorry you brought my little baby into the wilderness. That was an L decision on your part. Go back home and wait for me like I told you to. What are you talking about? My answer is no, because if I care too much, this is going to break me. And if I don't care, then I'm not going to spend $10,000. So either way, my answer is no, no, no. God, are you serious? Oh, man. I can't let down my kid. I know. I can't let down my wife. Okay, Jimmy. <laughs> Dumb, like it is be sentimental. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Yes! I love you. It's me, it's Daddy. Oh my god. I smell so bad. No. Hi, Talia. As nice as it was to see their families, the visit was also bittersweet. Because there's one big question on everyone's mind. How long do you want us to stay? I want you home now. L Y. L Y. Why? What? You know half this money is going to taxes, right? Oh my God! L why? You said this is why I'm single. Hell <laughs> no! Listen, listen. Your job as my wife, not on some misogynistic stuff, just in general, because our jobs for each other. But you, right now, your job as my wife is to encourage me to be as great as I can be. You're supposed to give me the motivation so I can survive in the world. That's in this challenge and in general. Like the world is built to, to challenge us and break us down. Anytime I go to home base, whoever's in my home is supposed to help build me up so that way I can survive out here. So 
when they're asking you, don't make me feel guilty for staying. You supposed to be like, keep going. You can do this, honey. I love you. I believe in you. So even if I thought about giving up, you, I'll be like, damn, I can't even say I left because my wife, because she told me to stay. So now I either got to stay for myself or stay because like, I'm going to look real bad. I, I got to stay. I'm going to be like, come on. What are we talking about? Where else or when else can you ever make 5,000 a day again? 5,000 daily. I don't know what kind of job. He, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Cause if he was a multimillionaire already, he wouldn't be suffering in the woods for 10,000 a day. So it's safe to say that he doesn't work that type of job, which means there has been no other opportunity ever for him to make 5,000 a day before this. And I'm pretty sure there's not ever going to be an opportunity again. It's either now or never, baby. Yes, you're gonna have to suffer. But you know what? Hella, hella, uh, hella parents suffer worse for longer. Like, you know what I'm saying? Take one for the team. Because it's not like I'm out here on vacation and it's like, oh, how long can you suffer while I drink my ties on the beach? I'm suffering too. We're both suffering. But if we can both suffer long enough. We're going to make $5,000 a day. Like, you better get your... It, bro, like, are you serious? This will, this opportunity is not coming tomorrow. It's not like I could come back, give you a break, and you're like, oh, thank goodness you took a break. Okay, next week. Uh, so when are you going to go back to making more money? I, as soon as their money starts getting low and they're $5,000 short for something, whether it's for dental, it's for marriage, it's for college, whatever it is, they might not be petty enough to say it, but I guarantee they're going to think, damn, one more day would have paid for this. There's going to be something that they want to buy, a purchase they're going to want to make, and they're going to be like, damn, one more day literally could have could have paid for this. Damn. I thought I said one more day. I could have done one more day. And either way, I'm not saying that he should stay hell alone, but I'm saying her job, her one job is to motivate him and not, because obviously that's his wife. He cares about her. So if he sees she's suffering, that's going to make him want to go help her and save her. So her job is to put a smile and not show that she's suffering so that her man can fight the world. Like her man is going out there to survive and he can't do that if he thinks, damn, she needs me. You know what I'm saying? It's like if he's going to war and he's, his mind is not on the battle, he's going to be thinking about other stuff, and he gets shot up. So to prepare him to best deal with it, you need him motivated. You need him concentrated and focused on the task at hand. So even if she wants him to come home, she can say it in the confessional afterwards, like, really, I wanted him to come home, but I didn't want to distract him. So I said, no, I'm fine. You should keep going. She shouldn't be the reason he comes back. He should like, okay, you know what? I miss my family. I'm going back. But it shouldn't be like, well, my wife. Because like, I guarantee one day it's going to be like, well, I would have stayed, but my wife was like, come home. Oh, I don't want to hear her mouth, so I'm, I'm going home. I'm going home. You're going to hear it anyway, brother. You're going to hear it anyway. I know you want me home, but do you need me home? Yes, she needs you. <laughs> God damn it. Look, 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 think of this. Like, cause like we, we, I know that a lot Bruh. of things get lost in translation and I know I keep pausing it, I'm sorry. But just think of this for one second, right? He asked you and you said, yes, I want you to come home. If he was at his limit, he would just be like, uh, uh, she said, I gotta go home, so I gotta go. But the fact that he doubled down on the question, I know you want me, but do you need me? That's him saying that, listen, I, I'm, I'm trying to stay a little bit longer, as long as possible. For you to double down and say, yes, I need you here home. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> and look how serious her face is. She's like, bro, I can't, I can't take this anymore. Babe. 
They're going to take half my money in taxes, and then I got to split half of the money with that guy. This is a Mr. Beats video. I got to show out. Yes, you need to bond with her. Shut the f Oh, my God. You need to bond with your son. Now she's making him feel like he's an asshole and he's not hes not being a good father by not coming home. All he's doing is making money for you. I don't... <laughs> zoom in. The zoom in. The zoom in. I understand she's stressed and overwhelmed. She's not about that life. But I'm saying her one job as my partner is to motivate me just like I'm to motivate her in the stuff that she's doing. So she's not supposed to make me feel guilty for her feel, her feelings when it's not like he's partying, he's out making money, he's earning an honest living for the family that she's saying is hard to raise. It'll be a lot easier when I come home with bags of money. What the other guy says, you've made enough money. I don't care. No. D divorce divorce you either gonna be mad or you're gonna be glad with me knowing i have my wife's support i want to stay until i have see see you see the difference i have my look at their lovey-dovey i have my wife's support it, it motivated him i could stay what i could stay until i got a million his family man, 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 like damn it these and grizz were much happier than i'd ever seen them I am Bush. <laughs> wow, let's smoke some fish. Look at Ooh, they that. got a this system. Perfect. Even when something happened that would have totally drained them before. Oh! 400,000. By now, they didn't even seem to mind. Yeah! It looks like someone had a gender reveal, and the gender was just money. <laughs> even though their spirits were high, there was still a problem they needed to solve. In order to get to the river to fish, they would first need to trudge through this giant swamp. But if they had a boat, they would easily be able to float down the creek to the river. I am building a boat. The idea is to create a frame with sticks and then attach our tarp so the whole thing can float. Not feeling super confident in the boat build. If we can get down the fish without having to tromp through a whole swamp, it's worth the risk. It's time for the first sea trial of my beautiful ship. Here he goes. Chris! Da, 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 da. Oh. And this is pretty ironic. Look, look, look. Man, 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 it don't take, it don't take much to please, man. Look how heavy homie is. Da, 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 da. Considering the offer I was about to bring them. It's day 50. Let's see how they're doing. Hey. Uh, bro, you guys have a village now. Wait, are you serious? You built a boat? Yeah, man. You're telling me this thing can actually float. You want to try it? Uh, yeah, I don't. I, oh my gosh, it actually works. He built a freaking boat in the woods. All right, now that I'm aware of that, this changes a lot of things. It's actually insane that you two built a boat yesterday because I brought the two of you a boat with a Zaxby's restaurant on it. Nah, see, see, now that? <laughs> After spending 50 days in the woods? I, give me the Zaxby's, give me, give me, give me. See, I'll spend 10,000 on that before I spend 10,000 on uh, on on seeing my wife, I live with her. <laughs> give me, 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 Zaxby's. Fuck that smoked fish. I I need this Zaxby's dish. You feel me, El husband? Nah, I'm gonna see my wife at the end of the challenge. Especially if I know my wife is the type to say, "No, you're a trash dad for being out here making money for the family." She liable to get get get. In the swamp. Oh my gosh, this is so cool, Jimmy. Before I present the offer, I want to make sure you're in a really good state of mind. This is our brand new Mr. Beast box, which are now live in every single Zaxby's. Ooh, Zaxby's got a Mr. Beast box? I might have a mission for tomorrow. Across America. Oh, oh, oh my god, god, that is so good. The Mr. I felt that for Freeze him. Freeze box comes with the best tasting chicken known to man. And the cool part is every single meal comes with a Feastables box. Oh, Our goal yeah. with this collab was to take the world's best chicken and pair it with the world's best chocolate. Indeed. Zaxby's also has 12 sauces. There's like so many flavors happening in my mouth. What is that? That's really good. It's a Zax sauce. Look how happy they are. If you want to be happy like them, just go to Zaxby's and get the Mr. Beast box right now. Now that you guys have gotten your meals, your day 50 offer is for 50 grand. You can have this boat. We don't have yeah we don't have any way to get yeah they, that's just gonna be a liability bro that's gonna be a liability hell no thanks for the free food thanks like if they would have not fed me and they said hey yo listen 
hey, you want this whole platter of food? 10,000, 25,000, 50, maybe. But y'all let me eat already? Police, police, <laughs> police. Uh, you trying to give me a piece of uh, plywood that's floating that I just got to, I already built a boat. If y'all would have did it before I built my boat and before y'all let me taste the food, I already ate. I'm good. I got smoked fish again. <laughs> Remember when I said, fuck the smoked fish? <laughs> fuck your floating boat. What are you talking about? I have what a are motor. You we don't about? have any way to get this thing around. So you just use sticks. Nah. Oh, Lord, I don't know. Since you weirdly built a boat the day before, I'll give you a discount. We'll make it $40,000. My nah. answer is, yeah. I love the ship I made. I trust it with my life. So I'm going to leave it up to Grant. For $40,000, I'm going to pass on the boat. Yes! I'll get in Hayes' death trap instead. If that sinks and you have to quit, I try. We appreciate the food. That was lovely. Bye, Jimmy. I'll see you next time. So this ship saved us 40000 I wouldn't both get in a boat though. Like let's not let's not push our luck. I'll go fishing in the boat and you and you you know what I'm saying go make sure our camp is straight or whatever. We don't gotta both be in it. That's just extra chances for the boat to fail. You know what I'm saying? Dollars. Still a death trap. Hey, 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 hey. Man, when we first started this thing, it was in the dead of winter. Do you remember how cold it was? Yeah, now everything is so nice and warm. And spring was now in full bloom. Damn, they stayed through a whole season. And they were looking pretty comfortable. There's a lot of flowers here. I can't say that I mind it. What is today, 51? I don't know, I lost track. I hear an airplane coming in. Where? Oh, he's coming straight at us. This briefcase puts us at $440,000. Time to build the Hayes and Grizzle love seat. 80% of what we're sitting on here is going straight to my business. This case. No, I don't want Katie to work 24 hour shifts anymore. This money's gonna do so much for her and our family. But while the warmer weather was nice, it presented new problems like snakes. Don't wanna get bit by that. And rats. Every night. Oh my God. And it wasn't long until the lack of sleep started to make them irritable. Ah, uh, looks like Hayes is struggling to get over here. Hayes, do you need my help? What does it look like? You want to paddle up river into the wind? Hayes, why don't you go get those uh, fishing lines fixed? You know what? You shut your mouth when you're talking to me. He's angry. Can you check those lines while you're over there? What do you think I'm doing? I don't know, I was just asking. Thank you for telling me to do what I'm already doing once again. Very angry. <laughs> Keep in mind, at this point, Hayes and Grizz were very close friends. But Hayes had reached the end of his rope, and the jokes just weren't hitting the same anymore. <sighs> Grizz's idea about how this would unwind is not working, obviously, because it's a stupid idea. Hayes, I'm sorry, buddy. I did not know I was actually pissing you off. I thought that I did not know that you were actually upset. It's all right. Okay. And so feeling. I'm still stuck on the rats and the and the, and the serpents and and the critters. Where that flare gun at? And they have five hundred twenty thousand, half a mil. See now, I will get close to where I'm like, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's still, it's still, taxes going to take a hella, bro. I don't know, man. It's like the more I stay, it will be like, I mean, I'm already still here. I might as well stay one more day. You know what I mean? Being frustrated, Hayes turned off his camera and paddled down river, where he set up his camp until the next day. Hayes has uh, set sail. Yeah, I think he may have run away. I'll certainly be thinking about him. I know it's supposed to be cold at night. He's not back in a couple days. So I'm going to have to go looking for him. Let's do something to cheer him up. So we got a huge board over here that was left by Jimmy at the last beast drop. And I'm going to repurpose it into a table with some of our cases. This is its actually pretty sturdy. And when Hayes returned home, he was not empty handed. Sounds like Hayes has returned from his great adventure. Nice. Oh, those are sea trout. I'm pretty wiped out. Mind if I take a minute? No, man, do your thing. Chris. Yeah, buddy. What's this? It's our table. We have a table? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm figuring that perks up a little bit. This is a $100,000 table, Grizz. Welcome back, buddy. It feels good to be home. <laughs> Come on. Oh, <laughs> see, we eat so beautiful. Survival needs met and their friendship restored. One question still remained. 
How long will they stay? We gotta have a serious conversation. Yeah. The end. Hmm. Honestly, I'd have been done five days ago. Maybe push like an extra week. I mean, hell, that's a $35,000 each. If I pulled that flare on day 70, how would you feel? I would feel uh, uh, really let down and lied to. I propose at day 70, we have a conversation, decide if we're going to push further. That's fair. I promised Grizz that I would stay. Okay, now, 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 now it's starting to get interesting. Day longer. For him, but I'm not happy about it. Morning, guys. So, Hayes has been... 600,000, 300,000 each. Even after taxes. Ah. See, see, see. <laughs> All that stuff I was talking before, like, you hear me? Get closer. Get, get closer. Let me talk to you. All that stuff I was talking before, it goes out the window once we eat 600,000. You know what I'm saying? Oh. This would be hard. But I think I could last. I wouldn't sabotage the team. But I might start complaining, like, I mean, bro, we got 600,000. What, what, you know what I'm saying? A little upset. I'm seeing it. He's keeping it himself, you know, so I'm a little worried about him. Spoken to Grizz about it. He wants me to stay longer. He's kind of pushing me to stay longer and stay longer. At some point, I got to stop being wilderness guy and go be dad. Another day. Yeah. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I knew that was going to happen. I saw it. Oh, no. Hey is going to check out the case that is dropped from the sky. Day 70. I'm going to see if Grizz is good being done today. Let's see what he says. What are we going to do with all this money? Kind of want to talk to you about that. I'm kind of ready to hit the flare. What do you think about that? I don't want to stay longer. I know that, that you've got to pull away from this thing with family. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. We've talked about it a thousand times. I just want to know how you feel about it today. Yes or no? Can you go one more day? Give yourself 24 hours just to kind of feel it out. I thought a lot about it, but if you want to go another day, let's go another day. Nah, now I see why he stole the flare. Cause homie just gonna keep saying another day. You want to go one more day? You go, nah, nah, nah. He said, I'm ready to go, but I'll stay another day for you. I already been ready to go since two weeks ago, but I'll stay another day. You want to talk about it? Every time you're going to just keep pushing it and saying, you want to stay, you know, we'll, can you stay till tomorrow and then we'll talk about it? Nah, you're not about to play me. I would be upset a hostage that gave Hayes 5K per day. But uh, I wouldn't be, it wouldn't even be the wilderness that's that's upsetting me. It would be the fact that homie is like, like, bro, you playing in my face. So the answer is either no or let's talk, like, it, it's never a yes. It's literally, I ask you, yo, can we leave today? Like, bro, you sure you want to leave today? No, no, I'm sure. Let's think about, I've already thought about it. Well, can, can you stay one more day so then we could talk about it and see if you still feel that way? I know for sure I will still feel this way, but I will stay one more day for your sake. But if, when I get to that day, you say the same thing. Let's stay one more day to see if you think about it. So basically, it's until my answer changes to yes. Like, bro, no. I would, I, yeah, I'm still in that player too. How's it going, boys? How are you, buddy? Or I'll be like, hey, listen, I'm going to start sabotaging. Whenever Jimmy comes, I'm spending the money. I'm spending the money. So what's up? Do you want to go home and keep your money? Or do you want the money to be gone after we spent all this time here? Because I'm spending the money, nigga. Good. Let's go on a little walkie walk. We can go over here. Yeah, but because of him, they got. Let's say Hayes isn't a part of the equation. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many more days do you think you could survive out here? Let's call it 45 days, would okay. probably be as far as I'd go. How many do you think he has left in the tank? He yeah, talks yeah. about it every day. How often do you think about shooting the flare? Every day. What stops you? At this stage, Grizz, you know, he wants to make a million dollars, and it's hard to say no to that. I have an obligation to him, too. But it's starting to go towards family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you do shoot that flare, that's going to be crazy. Oh, I can't wait. Nah, Mr. Beast. When you, hey, my boy, when you, when you do shoot that flare, my boy, my boy, when you shoot that flare, <laughs> that's going to be crazy. Think of the content, my guy. Think of the content. <laughs> Bro is trolling him. 
Oops. Okay, last night. Uh huh. I don't want to disappoint Grizz, but all right. I think I'm done. Thought it would be cool to to come back here to our first camp, where I was shoulder to shoulder with Grizz every single night. And after that, it was like, all right, dude, we're brothers now. I expected to walk away with a lot of money, but I didn't expect to walk away with like a friend for life. Aww. And that's so meaningful to me. I kind of got to think about what's right for me and my family. Hey. Hayes got so desperate that he literally went into Grizz's bag and stole the flare gun, even though it was his idea to separate it into two parts. At this point, all I have to do is shoot this thing and I get to be a dad again, you know? I know this thing is, is very challenging. What we're Damn. doing out here is not. See, do think about a million other than thinking about 10 dads. I really truly do believe that you're doing what's right for your family. I disagree. You're providing for them in a way that's no, going to change their lives. Now it's gone the other way. Now it's, I think I need, I need to be there. I think that you've been really upset and you've been missing your family really bad. I, I feel like I think the money doesn't matter. The money doesn't, the, the money doesn't matter to me anymore. And really the only thing that's keeping me here is you. And I'm sick of it. Oh yeah. my God. My family needs me too, you know. And you're very good at, you know, manipulating me. Oh shit. <laughs> Run and grab the gun. <sighs> It was clear that in this moment, Grizz was going to have to make a decision. Oh Convince God. Hayes to continue surviving in these woods for more and more. Yo, yo, Grizz, three more days so we could be at even 700 and I promise we're done. I'll shoot the flare myself. Come on, Hayes. Money or be there for his friend when he needed him the most. I can't imagine having gone through this experience with with anyone else. I mean, I really do, like, I genuinely think you'd be like a brother, you know? Where's the part about killing him, though? I'm sorry that I've just pushed you on and on and on. I just don't want to let you down. You're not letting me down. Yeah, I am. Brothers don't let each other down. This is the way it is. Everything, <laughs> everything's got to come to an end sometime. Let me see that flare. Nah. I owe you this. Wait. And to be honest with you, I'm sorry that it's taken so long. I think it's time for us to do this thing, buddy. Wait, 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 wait. What was the part that we saw in the previews? If you blow that, I will kill you. What happened? Aww. Aww. Nah, they tricked us with the teaser. They tricked us. They tricked us. Mr. Beast is editors. Hey, hey, I want to say here, be honest. Mr. Beast editors, Mr. Beast and his team, you got me. You got me. You got me. I was waiting for them to. But he's like. <laughs> Hold on. You smell bad. <laughs> I think they shot the player. No, you take that one. Let's go check in on them. Rich. Rich. <laughs> Boy. Hey, Jimmy. Oh, my. oh, you said you don't care about the money. Let me have some of yours. God. Then. We dropped them off. This is what they looked like. And here's them 74 days later. Crazy. Yes, they look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't left these woods in 74 days. Dude, I'm so ready. One final surprise. Oh, my God. Oh my gosh! Hi, Tommy, baby! After 74 days, they've won $670,000. And in case you forgot, we're giving away a thousand Samsung phones to random people that subscribe in the next week. But anyways, that was Mr. Beast, 10,000 per day. How long would you have lasted? Um, I probably would have lasted... It, it depends on who you with. It, it definitely depends on who you with. If I had a good partner, I probably would have lasted a little bit longer. Like if, if the dude was pushing me to go and I was pushing him to go, I probably would have lasted to, because it's about the number. I would like the even number. I'd probably be like, all right, I could do three more days. But uh, for the most part, I understood both parts. I just didn't understand anything the wives were saying at all. <laughs>
understand both both me inside. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and all of those things. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get to the Mr. Beast numbers. You feel what I'm saying? But until next time, ciao. Uh, I've been up since like 3 a.m. I don't hear the hate. What y'all say ain't in. All I know is go. All I know is grind. I'm on your head. So all I know is climb. Just know I'm different. If I see the targets, just know I'm going to hit it. I don't know the fake. Just know I live it. Anything I say, just know I'm in it. I know the ops and they lightweight. I'm in the zone and I might stay. Yeah, I'm on in the right way. Check the scoreboard, look why I play. They say sky the limit, that's too low for us. We showing up in the nosebleeds of the galaxy. When you think it's great, look, it's actually me. Yeah, it's actually me.